Hello, welcome to Monster Mondays. I'm Austin Adamson, and this week I'm going to be playing Steam World Dig. It's a uh, free, free on PlayStation Plus right now. Unlike one of the other games that I played that I thought was free, that wasn't. Uh, Race the Sun a couple weeks ago. I played that and mistakenly thought it was free on PlayStation Plus. So this is Steam World Dig, and I don't know too much about it, other than it came out on the 3DS initially, I believe, in the Wii U. So I haven't played it, but let's just start it from the beginning. And I will load up the chat here on my phone, so if uh, you're watching and have any questions or just want to join in, go right ahead. We're nuts for gold. Let's see if I can... Twitch app seems to be... There we go. I really wish they would just have like a broadcaster mode on the app so you could kind of moderate or change the description all right good to go so this is steam world dig uh, it's kind of like you know if you've played any of those flash mining games and right off the bat has that look to it kind of dig dug style looks like i'm going to be digging for resources and uh using them to buy upgrades. I hope so. But it looks like it has more of a story than any of the other games that I've played. My uncle sent me to claim that cause this mine. Yeah, I'm Joe's nephew. Do you know him? Which way I'm sitting? Sneaking down here to mine. Uh, Uncle Uncle Joe's not doing too hot, I guess. The the platforming, like the jumping, is feels real good, almost like a Rayman, and he kind of looks like a Rayman. Looks like already there's different dirt types. I'm no miner. I just got this cowboy hat and this pickaxe and these boots, but. I'm a city city folk. All right, right off the bat, great great tutorialized segment here, it's showing me that I can't mine these blocks, but I can mine. That's good. That's good game design right there. Yep, I found it. I look like a proper miner. Oh great, the door locked. Find a lever. So yeah, different types of dirt. Um, uh, I can already tell that I'm going to like this game. <laughs> oh, it looks really nice, really detailed, like the different types of cracks and the, the dust compared to some of these other mining games that have a, a much simpler aesthetic. I played, you know, you know, there's plenty of them. You dig all the way to hell and you, you see what kind of demons live down there or monsters or... You jetpack all the way up as high as you can to see what's up there. Oh good, there's wall jumping. That is, that is great news. Yes, very much uh, has a platforming feel, similar to a Rayman game. I just wonder if I'll get like a double jump or something like that. I'm just scratching the surface. Hey, Nick. Alright, 
so now it looks like we got the town here. So it said population three, so here's the three, it looks like. Keep open the mine, bring back ore, and she's so she is who I sell all my ore to. Move over here a little bit. Um, <coughs> Dorothy. Give me them precious stones. Uh, Cranky's upgrades. Mr. McCrank. I'm going to want a better one. Great, so I can't just can't buy anything from him. And who do we have over here? Saloon. Is that like style or the town um, hooker bot? She is standing very provocatively and dan dancing her, swinging her hips. Quiet fellow, you just let me do the talking, then. Joe's Mining Inc. Keep out. Okay, let's just, uh, let's circle. Okay, that looks like it's hatching into something. Okay, no, just heart. Trashium, great, great name. <laughs> dollar so I wonder if that converts into cash instantly or if I'm gonna have to okay it looks like I'm filling up um, item slots there in the bottom it's because I've got two types of uh, materials I wonder if I can dig I can kind of dig up it looks like but I cannot jump and dig So you want to be a little methodical in your when you're planning your route if you see specific treasure that you're trying to get to. Okay, that's what I wanted to see if that thing would hatch. And it does. That that is cool that there's a Yeah, I I definitely need a fa faster pickaxe. So I'm going to I'm going to get the, all this loot that I can get. can't dig through that but this uh, I can I can see myself spending a lot of time mining through every <laughs> possible area and getting as much loot as possible and upgrading I like a lot of the games with this kind of upgrade path where you you start weak and crappy digging through the dirt and then by the end of it you've got these tunnels that you've made and all this cool equipment and gear but I'm not able to get up there anymore let's see if we can a good little mini map here um, doesn't seem to be any uh, oh yeah I will I will tell my sister that you said hi and uh, I, t I always tell them to be uh, be quiet while I'm up here streaming but they uh, tend to make it into a party down there and <laughs> somehow um, I've been put in charge of making pizza every Monday night and more and more people get invited it started as me just using their space to stream and now it's turned into an annual get or a weekly get together and it's a lot of, a lot of extra work <laughs> on my end <laughs> Uh, as well, I was a little late. We had to put um, finish putting the third pizza in the oven. Interesting. I need light. So let's let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's trade in my resources. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I I like it when there's fewer people here because when there's no one talking, there's there's no noise. But right now, um, there's f a bunch of dogs and a bunch of people, and they get in uh, in, a, in deep deep conversations. But if you'd like, you can come over Monday's pizza night.
go see my daddy at the upgrade shop. Here we go. Get that pickaxe better. Uh, no, not DiGiorno. It's um, uh, Jamie. Jamie buys the the dough at like Trader Joe's or AJ's, and then uh, I toss the dough. And then this week we did uh, pepperoni pancetta with mozzarella stuffed crust, and uh, we did a vegetarian with red pepper. Red pepper? No, like bell peppers. Red bell. Red bell peppers. Um, Pepperoncini and okay, I got a sharp pickaxe. Pepperoncini, what was the other one? I don't remember. I, the vegetarian's not my favorite. Um, and then we did a barbecue chicken with um, barbecue sauce instead of uh, pizza sauce. Oh my gosh, that pickaxe is already way better. <laughs> So yeah, good pizza, good homemade pizza. We got Jamie's got uh, my sister here has two two ovens, like a dual oven, so we can have two in the oven at the same time. And we got pizza stones and make a nice salad. And it's, uh, it's good food. It's just a lot of extra work <laughs> for uh, for me while I have to prep for the stream and try and get things running on time. Yeah, I was just surprised they gave me a much better pickaxe this quick. But it looks like they've also put me into um, tougher ground right away here. I wonder if uh, I'll ever need, like, uh, explosives. Um, a lot of these games have. Okay, so there's a... On the minimap, it's, it's got an uh, times four pickaxe next to this grid that I'm coming into. I wonder if that means t it's the recommended upgrade that I should have on the pickaxe or if it's like a requirement past a certain point because it looks like oh, okay so my inventory is full I wonder if I can uh, so far my only Oh, game over. Jeez, 50%? Dang it. <laughs> well, that sucked. Uh, I was going to say, the one complaint I have right now with the jumping is, or the platforming and combat, is that... Um, the pickaxe, I cannot swing it while I'm jumping. <laughs> Down portal. That's right. Um, I do probably have enough 8 Wii U controllers um, for some Smash Brothers when that comes out. But I want to get the adapter for the GameCube controllers because that's really really how I want to play Smash Brothers. If if that's the why you asked if I had eight. Um, let's sell my loot. Critters have been a been a bit feisty. Okay, so it looks like the player level maybe determines what upgrades I can get, um, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of goofy games for um, Wii U that that it, are either just came out um, or coming out. Like there's a a real good one that I played at Indiecade called. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Ladders. Um, called uh, what's it called? Runbow. Uh, Runbow's coming out soon, and it's I don't remember how many players. I want to say it's eight players or or more, maybe nine players. I don't remember. It's a lot. Local player kind of runner race race to the point. First one there wins kind of kind of game. And then there's a um, a four player two on two esports 
kind of game called uh, sports ball where you it's um it's like a mix between joust and I don't know like like handball or something you're you're knocking these balls into a goal while riding a bird and you have the same kind of flight mechanics as joust uh, where you're not really flying you're kind of just tapping the jump button but it, uh, it was a lot of fun at Indiecade. So yeah, there's a the Wii U is gonna maybe be like the best console for local multiplayer. Uh, indie developers have taken a liking to it, but most of uh, most of them will come out on on PC. Uh, PlayStation had Sports Friends, which came out earlier earlier this year, but that is coming coming to PC soon. I was told it was um, I was told Sports Friends was going to be on PC before Thanksgiving, but that does not look like the case. It's that deadline is coming up very quickly. Here's another another cool example of the platforming elements and how they um, communicated that I can't walk on them by dropping an enemy on it right away. I, d I really like uh, kind of subtle tutorials like that. Don't s necessarily spell it out with text, but just in include it into the game. Oh, there is fall damage. <laughs> Good to know. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of this kind of platforming and mechanics, like those disappearing bricks, remind me of um, Metroid a little bit. Okay, I do not have a good enough pickaxe to get through that. I guess let's try going down here into the... L oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spike trap. I did not realize that. What is this, though? Oh, it is like a Metroid game. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I th I'm going to be playing this game a lot more now uh, already. Oh my gosh, that is... That is so cool. Yeah. Unobtainium or uh, what's the... Um, what's the thing in Wolverine? Uh, oh crap, I'm terrible at remembering that. I can't remember. I forget, but you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright, what do I got? I should go to town. Yeah, I was telling them here that we need to get a uh, we need to get our hands on some mountain lion meat for uh <laughs> for the pizza. We really want it to be some good good eats, you know. What's that on your feet? Speed boots. Adamantium, yeah. See, I knew you'd know. Yeah, I found one of Joe's caves. So it looks like, I wonder if every one of those little caves contains like a miniature puzzle with um, upgrades. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So let's first buy the pickaxe. And I can't afford anything else. A lamp? Uh, I don't know if I want to buy lamps. Just, I'm a robot. Can't I just see in the dark? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, oh, this is a tougher dirt, but... Got these down to two instead of three hits. It's good, good enough for now. I'm not quite sure what those, what the fire does. What is... 
Oh, maybe oil. It must be oil for the lamps or something. <laughs> yeah, you might love lamp, but I don't want to spend my hard-earned miner's salary on a lamp just yet. Oh, that could have been real bad. <laughs> Luckily, they don't fall right away. Jeez, yeah, this game. I w I I heard great things about it on when it came out on 3DS, but I never got around to it for whatever reason. But now, now that I've gotten a taste, I think I'm gonna have to play it constantly until I finish it. I like how they explode like that. I'd never noticed how they they clear a surrounding area. Let's try and not. Gosh. Yeah, I think. Oh, you're right. You're right. I noticed that my fire meter is ticking down. Um. So that must mean that must be how I see. You're right. That uh. Circle is getting smaller as my oil or fire is depleting. All right, well, I don't have room for that, so I might as well go home. I bet I bet we'll get a, an upgrade that lets me warp right back to the top. That would make sense the further I get down here. And a double jump would be cool. Oh man. I I like this game. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's like a solar panel. I don't know, because I'm out here and it just automatically refilled my uh, fire, but not any, not any health. Okay, got some money. Got 39 coins, so I can get another pouch. Oh, I can get a big pouch for 75. Speed boots. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no way. Like, I'm I'm sure there will be uh, some kind of <coughs> speed upgrade that'll either warp me all the way to the top or make getting up and down a breeze. Cause yeah, it's gonna. I mean, I've only gone down about 30 me meters or so, but I bet this goes down really far. And it looks like I gotta either buy health or get it from these critters. Well, I'm, I'm already, oh, I already got a lot of materials. I gotta remember to play, um, I don't know, the board materials, I guess, reminded me of Blizzard. Uh, I gotta play that Heroes of the Storm Alpha. I got into that. It's like Dota, but did not Dota. A little more dumbed down, watered down, distilled, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Less complicated. User friendly. I'm drinking more of this uh, Mountain Dew game fuel with a. It's called uh, Dew with a blast of lemonade flavor. And it tastes, <laughs> it tastes like uh, yellow Sour Patch Kids. Really sweet, a little tart, hard to drink an entire can. <laughs> I bought a. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, these little lamps, no. But let's check. Um, let's check one of these. I mean, I, I, I wonder, yeah, if they're just ambient light or if they uh, do act as a... No, it looks like they're just ambient light. Yeah, I played... Uh, there was a game on PS4 around launch. I think it was called Mothership. 
can't remember the name, but it was also very similar. Less RPG mechanics and more um, focused on just the upgrades and the mining. Um, we'll get down to this f area four and then I think maybe call it like seems to be the core loop here is collecting materials, bringing them back to the surface and then upgrading, finding these looks like I might have found another cavern. Let's go do that. Oh crap, oh crap, don't die. Yeah, more fire. Okay, so let's see. This should be another puzzle type. Okay, introducing me to water. And I don't know what that why they couldn't touch that brick. That was a tough, tough climb there. Okay, these orb things. I'm not quite sure what those do, but it looks like they're uh, another form of currency. So this one was just a, a small puzzle, not a, necessarily an upgrade, it looks like. Oh, but those speed boots. Love them. Yeah, we'll fill up my pack here and <clears throat> get into the mining axe times four. Maybe that's the material density. Maybe that's the, the axe required. I don't entirely know. No room. All right, let's go back to the top. But yeah, this seems to be the core loop, and I like I like this kind of game. Metroid, Metroid with mining, <laughs> to uh, kind of cheapen the description. 2D platforming adventure with collection, collecting and RPG progression and an um, upgrade system. And right now it's free on PlayStation Plus. Uh, which I think it's cross by. I hope it's cross by because that's what I put in the description here. And it's on 3DS and Wii U. Nothing on the Microsoft platforms, but you never know with these indie developers, man. All right, we'll buy this bronze pickaxe, and then my phone is going to die chat and I didn't run a cable up here so thanks for stopping by if you're in the chat oh yeah that's pretty sweet I'm not even going for materials <laughs> I'm just going straight down this game is awesome uh, which is great, but sucks. Because now I'm going to have to play it. <laughs> and I've got too many other games on my plate right now. I wonder if it has cross-save. We'll check that in the options before. Ah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, there's ladders. I know that I saw there's ladders that I could buy um, to get up quicker. But if I gotta buy ladders and place them everywhere, I need a jetpack. Is what I need. Robots have jetpacks. Loud button pressing. I know these DualShock fours. Not not as uh, elegant as the Xbox One controller. Let's get out of here. Sell my loot. Go to the menu. Yeah, I didn't buy any ladders. Uh, 
I don't think I bought any ladders because this guy, he sells them. Oh, maybe I do. I do have one. You're right. <laughs> but I, it looks like they're. He says they're used for um, getting out of tricky situations. So if they're like you really screw up uh, in your digging and you get trapped, I guess. But that is uh. Okay, and you have a self-destruct option if you don't have a ladder. Okay, that makes sense. That is SteamWorld Dig. Uh, it doesn't look like it has cross-save, but... Still, uh, real fun. Free right now on PlayStation Plus. Uh, probably 15. I think it's, I think it's 15. Right? If you don't... Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, let's see, next week is the Monday before Thanksgiving, I should, I should still have, yeah, I'll have a stream up next week, uh, thanks for watching, have a great rest of your week, tune in next week, Monster Mondays.